we have had these most of these bills except the um, the third one on our, uh, to creating a special legislation commission for the most part we've had this type of legislation I think the first year it was introduced I was actually the sponsor of uh, so we're familiar and um, at least some of us embrace the concept of single payer it's um, whether um, and how technically we get there and on what calendar so yeah so because these bills of course have been before this committee before and yep. there aren't many changes to the main single payer bill I'm not going to go into too many details although I'd be happy to answer any questions anyone has um, uh, the additional bill here that was added um, there are two additional things that come on top one of them is this uh, resolution to the federal level um, and this is because there's a big national debate going on about single-payer health care Medicare for all health care and this is just a resolution to Congress in favor of enacting a Medicare for all program nationally um, and I think a lot of folks would like to see it ultimately enacted at the national level um, and it uh, I think is a good place for us to have this conversation um, at the state level uh, there's just a uh, study commission bill that's put in this time and part of the goal here is just that we can have a conversation in more depth uh, about the details of implementation this is a, a complicated bill to implement in practice and it's worth having a thorough conversation about how we get it right and how we get the details right and it depends on a lot of very complicated moving parts and we do need to make sure that we've designed it uh, so that it will work and so that we can actually make it succeed um, you know in Canada there was famously uh, one Canadian province Saskatchewan uh, started single-payer in Canada and it ultimately went to the national level but here in America we have had some difficulties with designing things on a state level basis so it's important that we think through all of the complicated details of how we make this really work and improve the lives of Rhode Islanders so that's basically the goal behind the study commission so that we can really start getting the details ironed out so that when we're ready to pass this um, I, and, and I don't want to speculate on what will happen at the national level I think it's unlikely to under the current administration that we would get the federal waiver that we need um, I could be wrong but I think that's probably a fair statement to make and this legislation does require a federal waiver because the finances do require that we can uh, utilize Obamacare or the ACA's uh, program where you can take a lot of the federal revenue and convert it towards uh, the funding of a single-payer system I don't think the Trump administration would do that and so the goal really is that we prepare for when we get uh, an administration that would issue the waiver that's necessary so um, I'm happy to answer any questions on the details of this bill as I think are many of the other witnesses um, is there anything else the committee would like me to go over or any questions for the sponsor thank you all right thank you so much